Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Those who are brand new to the channel, this is Mark and I am Jamie. And today we are going to be looking at this thing in here. The Lone Rider ADV tent. Ultimately, there's a lot of tents out on the market. Very few are directly uh, aimed at motorbikes. This is one of the options. We're going to have a bit of an unclipping, unpack it from the bike and put it up in two different ways because we've got two. Uh, and we're going to take you through our first thoughts. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to put this one up conventionally, I think is the phrase, aren't we? Like, yeah. pitch out the ground mat, um, put the poles on the inner, then the fly. And then we're going to act with Jamie's as if it's raining, and we're going to put the outer fly on first, then the inner, which should be comedy, because we've not done that. Well, I've not even seen it, other than just as it is now. You put it up once. In my front room. In your front room. Yeah. And there's a couple of things straight out that I really like about... You, you, this is how you receive it. The first things first, the outer package is pretty cool and you don't normally talk about a tent bag, do you? No, <laughs> apart from when you're angry at the tent bag and you can't get your tent back in the tent bag, then you talk about the tent bag. But you know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow's problem. But the, the tent bag on this one's pretty cool. It's got a bit of molly on it, so you can see how I strapped it to the, the Overlander bag here. It's got a couple of reflective strips, but moreover than that, it's just a really quality dry bag. Uh, and, sorry, on the back there, for if you have a KTM or something like that, when you break down, you can put it at the back of your bike so people can see that you've broken down. I think it's worth saying, this is the pack size. I don't know what that is, about 40 centimetres. It's not titchy small and it weighs just under four kilos. So it's not tiny, super light. But the reasons for that will come clear um, when we start putting out, because you'll have a look at the thickness of the materials and it's, I mean, it's robust. Right, let's get this out then, have a look what we've got in the dry bag. As bits fall on, the components you'll find are these three slash four parts. We've got a bag here, which has got the poles and the pegs in, in quite a fancy little bag. I'll show you all of that. In this red bag, you've got a repair kit, guy lines, and the ground mat. Here, we've got an outer fly and an inner tent. So it's quite a simple process. It goes ground mat, poles, inner, outer. Simply. <laughs> Simply. It sounds, I have never put this tent up before, and this is actually the most I've seen of this tent. Right, get your ground um, mat so, out, that's got a cool little feature. Right. It, it's worth noticing as well that this is a freestanding tent, so you don't have to put this exactly where you're going to finally pitch it. That's a cool little feature. It's got a little reflective SOS on it. <laughs> yeah. And you can use that in a couple of different formats, obviously. So if you're out on your KTM and you break down, you can get this out <laughs> alongside your little reflective driver. <laughs> the poles, the pole, it's a one-piece pole, in essence, so you can't get this bit wrong, they say. Um, I reckon when Jamie puts his up, he's going to get it wrong. Do you need a hand? No, no, man, I'm getting this right. And then we get one end in, and then hook the other end in, so we'll do this end first. And you bend it into the hole, so to speak. <laughs> this one's where you lose an eye. Nice one. Tent erected. Then we'll... Now you could peg this out, obviously, at the minute. It's nice and sheltered here. We're not going to. We'll peg it out at the end. We'll get the inner sorted. So the green bit's the outer. <coughs> the green bit. Uh, sorry, black bit is the inner. It's not raining, so we can go straight for the inner. And then you hook these underneath. It's pretty self-explanatory at this point, once you've found the blooming thing. We're making this look hard, aren't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> simply. Haynes manual. I've, I've looked at all seven corners. <laughs> of the of the dodecahedron tent. And it's still upside down somehow. No, no, it's not, no. No, it's not. And then these can go underneath. Nice one. And then we just work around clipping these little bad boys on. These top lines, this is legit. I don't know which way is better, but when I've seen the actual Lone Rider videos, they're upwards. Okay. And I guess it just creates a little bit more tension. But you can't do that if you've connected this. It doesn't give you enough slack to spin the, spin the pole, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, I've got you. So it's, yeah, that's the chicken. Oh, that's stretching it that way. Nice one. Way. And then, to get one side done on these. And then the other side. This is obviously very easy with two of us. Yeah, well, actually, I did this in my front room, just me, with my wife watching on and laughing. 
and it was actually very simple. Okay. Yeah. I, you I just have to be sort of methodical and walk walk around it. So this is, like I said, this is my first look at any of this, other than out of the bag, <laughs> and some of the simple stuff that I'm already liking. Like these feel, it feels quality, and that you can see where the weight starts to go into the tent, even on these bits. But actually, very simple things like a little lip on the end of there, which means they they almost clip in. Just feels like it's. It probably is easy to to do solo, I imagine. Now. What I noticed is now is a good time to move it to wherever you want it. Because obviously you're going to have to peg the fly sheet down to some extent. I'm going to stop saying pegging. I didn't want to say anything. I'm going to stop saying and that, that word. That's not because of any sort of preference. Well, I don't know what the word means otherwise. I think it's something to do with clothes and drying outside on a washing line. Right. And then you see your little toggles. Little toggles? Here. Yeah. Uh, One per corner. Sure. And yeah, got that. And they've got a little, like a little tensioner thing on it, so mm -hmm. just clip them all on, then we'll tension them all around. Roger. So again, we're just like piling them up on the on the same corner pieces by the looks of it. Exactly that, mate. Yeah. So now we've got all three, th or three layers to the tent, I suppose. <laughs> I thought you were going to say all three corners. I was like, brilliant. In the comments below, let us know if you want a proper how-to. This is kind of our first thoughts. Yeah, well, this is just us. Having a having a shot. But once we've used it a few times, I'm sure there's there's always a few hints and tips with tent erecting, isn't there? Yeah. I've done all seven of my corners. <laughs> yeah, I've got all sixteen of mine done. What? So it's worth noting at the minute, you can. It's got um, a little clip in here to go over this again. And I don't know if you need to, but you can put that on there. Hey, well, I've got you. But not just to tension the top, I'm guessing. It's just to tension the top. And when we put the inner up second, I think you're definitely meant to use them because it keeps the fly on whilst you're doing things. So, I mean, it's a freestanding tent, which is one of the benefits of these. And there's a few freestanding tents out there in the market. Um, when would you use a freestanding tent? To teach anybody to suck eggs. Like, if you're on some sort of sandy ground where you can't get pegs into the ground and maybe you're, you're running short of rocks or anything like that, freestanding tents really do come into their own. I've slept on beaches before and the tent has collapsed. Are you just bleating on so you don't have to peg down a tent? If you could just peg down, I'm talking... All right, yeah, camera. just doing a thing, are you? That's cool, man, that's cool. I'm just going off the ground sheet myself. Yeah. Because I'm a professional, I only do the ground sheet normally. Oh, yeah, you've, uh, you've done the outer fly there, mate. Uh, ground sheet. Oh, the ground sheet? Yeah, just a bit, just the ground sheet. In theory, that's all you really need. <laughs> In theory. theory. A theory's all well until... Well, it's, it's all well. <laughs> <laughs> and now that uh, Ant and Deck have finished their Saturday night takeaway, we're hoping to uh, corner that market. <laughs> <laughs> it's got quite a nice big... What? Vestibule-y bit, hasn't it? You love the word vest. I knew you were going to say vestibule. Well, it rounds it out nicer, doesn't it? Oh, that's, the, that's the way to do this chicken. Yeah, there. just needs six hands. There we go. Oh, there you go. And there we go. Now, because I've had this one up in my front room, tent, come into my, Should I welcome, open this welcome to my crib. Normally you would install this now, this little net at the top, this little hammock, because it came separate. Mine's already in, so you can leave it all in. And then we're right, well, let's get the other one up and uh, have a tour around them both. I like I like the way that Jim's recycling jokes now. <laughs> yeah. Echo! So, you, you, you say one, he just picks them up and uses them again. Sprinkle them into the videos. Right, get your tent <laughs> off the bike. And that's it. On a, in comparison to the size of the bike, that's you need, what it looks You need like. a little 50p or a can of baked beans for a size comparison, don't you? Because that's what, well, that's what people do. Come on. There. Catch. So we're going for fly second here, aren't we? We are. And actually, no, fly first, sorry. Jim was just making a good comment about what you can use the bag for, wasn't he? Ultimately, yeah, once chuck, you've... chuck a bit of riding kit in there or well, anything just outside because it's a, it's a proper yeah. full-on dry bag, right? Exactly, and it just allows you to store stuff outside the tent, although it's massive, as we can see. It's There's plenty of space. And you've got two huge vestibules. Vestibules. Foyers. Foyers. <laughs> Foyers. Right, so, well, this is what it, comes, it looks like when you get it. Yeah, this when is Harry Spanker's. Like, never been rolled out, isn't it? This is as far as it's ever got so far. So that's, that's exactly what it looks like. Well, actually, I think, I think if, it was, if I knew I was going out in rain, I'd store my inner separately to the rest of the tent. Maybe in like a little pouch or something elsewhere. 
and it's always the last, it always in its own little dry bag. Because that's why if, it, if it's dry, it doesn't matter, but if it's wet, your tent's dry. And uh, keeping moisture out in the tent stuff is always oh, that's key, concern, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Right, you, oh, you've still got the nice shiny plastic. Yeah, it's not, not even been out. Never seen air. <laughs> Never seen air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, what are you uh, trying to tell me? You uh... Well, you were stood there. Luckily, I've got legs. <laughs> Very long, noodly <laughs> legs. Okay, so is it the, with the KTM advertisement face up or down? <laughs> I don't think it, well, I don't know. I don't think it matters. I would probably keep it there just to keep it clean. I mean, yeah, because you want a clean SOS sign if oh, yeah. you're dying in the well, middle of the if desert. If you're going to have an SOS, you want it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I've crashed, I'm dying. I'm Is my SOS clean? Have I got clean pants on? I've never yet used a dirty SOS. <laughs> right, get your ends in. <laughs> so to speak. I've never, <laughs> once, never, I've never once exploited a dirty SOS. <laughs> it's, just, it's just never happened. It's not the kind of guy I am. Here, here, oh, here I get your ends in. End. Get your ends in. Oh, I'm going this end. Right, all right. <laughs> this will probably be like lightning I was, now. I was brought up with morals. <laughs> <laughs> never, never have a dirty SOS. That's what my mum said. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on? Yeah, well, I'm all right. You got any eye protection? Okay, so, well, we're going to go for the outer. outer first. You're, obviously, you wouldn't make this catastrophic mess if it was raining. Uh, I reckon just go for it and you can get those four inner loops on. Does that make sense? I'll tell you what, I genuinely like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually it? like this. So this is the patch for all your pegs and everything else. It's it just padded. feels quality. It is padded, padded and it just feels decent. It's all ripstop. It looks like it's waterproof in itself, so... And you know oh, what? You I know that sounds like excessive. Oh, well, you would like that because it's padded, but it's extra weight. I ripped my pole bag for my Van Gogh when we was in Spain, and it was a pain because then the poles would stick out. Well, I think they, I think the bag ripped when it fell off my bike and I lost the poles. You can strap that I, to the I, outside I of your bike. I think that's exactly how it's intended. Yeah. And so a separate pouch that is decent and strong for all your poles and stuff. Right. Well, this is a faff. <laughs> right. Because I'm trying to flip these over. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you should just do some filming, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. Where's, if where's you that track that across ah, the so seam. by the doors, isn't it? Yes. So either corner of the door, and we go into the roof first. Yeah. That's it. Wicked. It That's just holds it look. nicely in place, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. It just holds it right in place, yeah. doesn't it? It really does. Right. We'll get some yeah. pegs. Whoa. You pull that one over to you. Ch chuckle but to me. <laughs> <laughs> to you. <laughs> right, and we'll get some corners on. Now it's worth noting that because we've put this on in a different system, th those clips will be under each other in a different direction. Yeah. So it has to come off in this in this way. But if you're gonna put it up this way, it's easier to take it down this way, which is quite cool if it's raining when you're taking it down. Does that make sense? Because you'd want yeah. to take the inner down second anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is, uh, I suppose... This is probably the, the better way. Get that, and then you've got a dry space inside to sort all your stuff out. Right. You? If it's raining, at this point, you'd now dive in there with a small towel or a thing and dry the ground mat before you put your inner tent in. I suppose we could even peg it all out at this point, couldn't well, we? Well, I think we I think we should, yeah. Peg it, then the outside is all pegged, done. Yeah, I reckon, then we'll just crawl in and do that. Let's do that. It's a nice bag, I don't know if we mentioned this bag. Yeah, you banged on about your bag a bit, haven't you? I did, yeah. Yeah. Oi, hello. I think that's how you should do it. That's how you should do it. It's all you really need. Yeah. In my humble opinion, and I'm pretty humble. They do say that about you, don't they? I, I mate, to be honest with you, I think I'm the most humble person I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to boast, but I'm very, very humble. I, in fact, I think I'm an expert at it. I, oh, Jim, if you just come around here, most tents have got this. But these little vents have got like a little uh, hard bit and they just hold the vent open. Most tents have got that. It's, that's not a new feature, but just a nice little thing. Whoa, that's a great that's point, a, isn't it? Yeah. If you just wanted a storm shelter. It's, it's effectively just a, a domed bivy. When do we get a normal, when do we get a professional camera? Is Claudio available? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he hasn't got a driving license. <laughs> Mate, I'm not sure you have after seeing you today. 
I'm not sure I should have. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> anyway, back to tents. Um, so, as you can see now, we are in the tent without the inside. And um, we've actually, Jim's just been making some great points. We've been discussing yeah. all the benefits that this could bring, being yeah. able to have this as an option, weren't we? Yeah, because we haven't got the inner tent. Um, and so what that does is it frees up the foyer, the vestibules, as usable space. So if you didn't want to travel with the inner tent and you wanted to go super lightweight with just a fly, ground sheet and poles, which between two or three of you, you could break down, you could fit probably three people in here if you wanted to if you wanted to travel super lightweight. I think so, absolutely. And then that would bring that overall weight down again, wouldn't it? Yeah, because this would keep you dry and it would keep the majority of the wind off you. Absolutely. And to be fair, the mesh inner, as we'll see, is really only to keep the bugs out. There's not mm. really going to be an awful lot of warmth uh, kept by that. So. No. Provides a few extra pockets and a little bit of extra storage, you know, niceties really. But and another point that Jim just made that if you had a mate that had, I don't know, a crashed or whatever, and an injured waiting for help, you could set this up relatively quickly, and it'll provide cover whilst help arrived. Yeah, get them in out of the elements. So yeah, another great option. So it's, it's pretty huge, cavernous, really. <laughs> it's a huge, huge tent. So although the weight is probably higher than plenty of lightweight tents that you can get. It's actually quite big, quite spacious, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right, well, I've got two corners here. That's, that's helpful. That's perfect. OK, well, this is actually all right. I can... That's one corner in. Should I go to the other side? Well, that I reckon I'll get this corner in, and then I'll just duck out a little bit. OK. And then I'll just pin up the others yeah. solo. So this is a fair point. We, we've pegged the outer out, because we thought we should do that. And now I can't stretch the inner to reach the pole. So I'm going to have to hook it off the, off, off the peg to get it uh, all right. lined up. There we go. So that's worth noting. I mean, I've just done that one, no problem. But well, I'm going to have to come. Oh, I'm messing up my SOS. It's well minging now. Look at that. How's, any, how's anybody going to see my broken down KTM? Stop standing on things. I guess if you're going to do it this way, you need to get your <laughs> Most of these tents don't come with a dickhead as standard, but uh, mine has. <laughs> and I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> that must be a cracking shot. <laughs> right. Or did you think it was a bit cheeky? <laughs> right, I'm going to have to come round the outside to do that you're one. You're going to have to open that door. No, down here I've got to get this one in. Oh, you're still not? No. Oh, man. <laughs> no wonder it's taking forever. <laughs> There, there we go. We go. In. That was Finally. easy. Finally. Yeah, I was just thinking the other way seems to have gone to put together a little bit nicer. You just need to, what you need to do, mate, is you need to pull it all tight, um, tension it, and stop whinging. That's all you need to do, mate. Sounds boring. Oh. <laughs> what a cheeser. What a massive cheeser. How much fun can you have with one tent? <laughs> None. None. <laughs> this is relatively easy actually isn't it oh sorry it's not a lot of room in it and then where's that there it is yeah that is relatively easy isn't it yeah uh, and then actually... these just pin up to these oh one there i'll get that one actually you know i think we made that look difficult but it was relatively easy wasn't it it was easy it's just yeah we have made it look much more <laughs> difficult than it needs to be and, and, and genuinely in all fairness you can't really go wrong with it no. You can make life easier or more, or more difficult, but... You've got a part missing. Where's your banana hammock that goes inside? In Don's Le Sac. Wicked. So this is the um, hammocky thing that goes inside. I don't know what more to say about that. It's just a hammocky thing. <laughs> Were you setting yourself up for a yeah. monologue there? Yeah, well, I was going to say something else <laughs> about it. I was going to be all clever about the hammocky thing, but, I mean, there's only so much you can say about it, isn't there? I mean, if you can get mud all over it, that'd be ace. So this is the inside of my tent. And one of the features that I quite actually like is your fly sheet here is really easy to stow away into this little mesh triangle, which tidies it up really quickly and easily. Most of the time you've got little toggles, but I actually quite like that as a feature. One of the other things we saw is in the corner, there's some little zips. Um, not entirely certain what they're for, but thank you for power, especially if you're on big GS or something like that, you might want to run power into your, into your tent. Everything else is just and tent, the same as pretty much any other tent. Yeah. So if you've got a GS, 
Right. You might want to plug your fridge in. Yeah. Um, yeah, your coffee maker. Your coffee maker. Mind you, you'll only be around the corner from Starbucks. Probably in front of Starbucks, I in would front, suggest. In, in Starbucks. Because you wouldn't want to be outside, would you? Because it's raining, right. so you don't want the outs. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, you're only around the corner from home. That's a good point. And you're probably in a B&B &B anyway. Yeah. So why, is, why have you even got your tent up? <laughs> yeah, well, you put a tent up because you're, you're a moto camper. Yeah. That is a good point. Anyway, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's one group of people alienated. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Well, quick demonstration. Watch this. All zive. So if it was really beautifully sunny, not in the Peak District today, you could have the front wide open. And I'm sacrificing the dryness of my tent. Yeah. Which is why Mark is in no way going near his tent, apparently. Not to even open. Anything to Doors aren't even open. All closed. That's quite closed. a nice little thing, though, isn't it? Genuinely is, yeah. If it's nice and warm, I would probably have it like that. Yeah. And I'd just zip these I sides want, down. I wouldn't want your inner tent getting wet like yours. No, I wouldn't want that. No. What are they for? Hooking onto that, maybe? Mystery clips. Free clips. Yeah. So right, anyway, I think later. that brings our tent review to a finish. We'll see how they fare tonight. And we'll report back tomorrow's morning. Good morning. We said we'd give you a little bit of the next day stuff. Um, use them. Proper in, used them, it's like slept in and everything. In the ice. In the ice. It was cold. I'm still very cold now, and the tent is still very cold. But they did a fair job. I mean, it did what a tent should do, and it, it stayed upright. As a tent, brilliant. Loads of space, like cavernous across-wise. It's a proper two-man tent, isn't it? Really? Yeah. You can easily yeah. get two people in it. Loads of space for all, all your kit. So actually, life inside the tent, for me, I found it to be quite pleasant overnight. Oh, all, all the space, all the space. And uh, it's taken us a little while to take them down this morning, isn't it? I guess because we're not used to it. So there's a few different ways. So Mark's obviously just took his fly, his cover straight off. Um, I'm going to do what Jim, our trusted cameraman, has um, talked to us about. Is I'm going to try... Yesterday we put this one up, um, the opposite way around to Mark. So obviously Mark's unhooking his quite easily. I'm going to have to change the order on the corners on this one. But I'm going to basically do what Jim's talked about, who's used these similar tents in the past, and effectively used this clipped-on bit in the middle as effectively a table to kind of fold into, and then I'll pack the fly sheet away at the end. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, well, that's tents tented. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, cheers, Lone Rider. Uh, if you guys are interested, there's going to be these featuring on the channel um, a lot more, and we'll give them a proper run-through and give you all of our thoughts. But as a first time out, that's it. So far, so good. Yeah. All right. Well, hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay safe. Take care. We'll see you on the trails. Bye-bye. When did you start adding take care?